Vendet e Balkanit përëndimor u bashkua në një vend në shku për bashkëponim rajonal dhe ekonomik në këtë takim si Nikoqir është Kryeministri Maqedonis Dimitar Kovacevski, ndërsa misafiri janë Kryeministri Kosovës Albin Kurti, Presidenti Sërbis Aleksandar Vucic, Kryeministri Shqipëris Edirama, Kryeministri Imali të Zim Milojko Spajic, Drejtori për Gjithshëm për Fëqinsi dhe Zgjerim Gert Jan Kopman dhe James O'Brien si zëvendës Sekretari Shëbave për Europë dhe Eurazi. Këtë takim ishte i kushtuar planit për rritje për Balkanin për rëndimor e i miratuar nga Komisioni Europian. Qëllimi është të ndërmeret aksione konkrete për rritje të bashkëpunimit rajonal me shteteve të Balkanit për rëndimor. Ndërsa nga Komisioni Europian për këtë janë darë gjithse 6 miljard euro për të cilave 2 miljard grante dhe 4 miljard si kredite të volishme. Ftoj të ndjekim një pjesë të fjalimeve që umbajtën në rreth këti takimi rreth dhe rreth kësaj teme. In the context of the European Union aspirations, the growth plan represents a powerful symbol of the European Union's unwavering commitment to reforms across the Western Balkans. It also represents a determined effort for transformation, aligning national economies with the high standards of European Union member states. This commitment is not just a declaration, it's a pledge reinforced by considerable financial support in the form of grants and soft loans. With the growth plan, Western Balkan countries will expedite fundamental reforms, creating a strong link through the common regional market. In this process, nobody gets to veto each other. Each country works on its own, maybe in small groups with others, but nobody gets to stop a deal from going forward because they have some unrelated bilateral dispute. Any country that tries will suffer some consequence itself. But this, this sets the pace, for, allows a small group of countries to decide how it's going to move forward as long as we're all headed the same way. If some country wants to wait, sit, watch, then it's for the citizens of that country to decide whether those political leaders um, are the right ones. And I think what I was really encouraged by in our discussion is how much each of the leaders recognize the importance of moving forward in this way. Can you imagine how, in what a much better place we would have been today if we would have been much more serious in the regional integration, if we had been much more serious in dealing with the real stuff that was supposed to be the case when Berlin process started. But Berlin process is a process that it's one day of the year, with a year in between and then another day. That's why we also launched the Open Balkans. It was, it was kind of uh, a target for, for daily politics. It was a target for, for power games, not just within the region, but also in Europe. But in fact, what we did we try to push an agenda of agreements that is part of this growth plan and single market. This is it. 